Now, before the rain started coming down today, people in North Alabama and really all over the state had their eyes on the Doppler radar yesterday. And what they saw looked like rain, but people in Huntsville and Madison only saw sun and clouds. WVUA's Travis Leader joins us now in the studio. And Travis, while we don't have any confirmation yet. I think we've solved the mystery. Is that correct? I believe we do. We don't have any official word, but I think we got a good idea because UA Huntsville researchers were determined to find an answer as to why it looked like a downpour was happening when it really wasn't. And here's how the events unfolded. It actually looked like a very large thunderstorm. In fact, uh, uh, Doppler radar estimated precipitation out of this were over eight inches in Madison. And this now infamous radar blob was puzzling meteorologists in Huntsville because it should have been raining there, and it wasn't. There was a lot of confusion and certainly a lot of speculation as to what on earth was happening that would cause uh, something like this on radar uh, when there wasn't any rain. But researchers at UA Huntsville found out there was something falling from the sky. It just wasn't rain. Here's uh, basically what it looks like. It's a thin, feathery, fiberglass type uh, material. Uh, here's it on a little bit of a, a black uh, backdrop so you can kind of get an idea about what it looks like. It's suspected the substance is chaff, which possibly could have been launched at nearby Redstone Arsenal. It can be used to hide aircraft from being spotted on radar, but the mystery led to speculation. There was a lot of discussion among the uh, NWS offices in this part of the country, but even from all over, even from all over the country, who were contacting us and offering speculation. But some people took things a little too far with what they believe caused the commotion. Some of the more outlandish things that we heard were aliens, the mothership. I think someone even posted a picture of the Starship Enterprise uh, with, with some kind of cloaking device uh, sitting over Redstone Arsenal. Live long and prosper. <laughs> Arsenal officials stayed hush about what may have happened, but offered a statement saying partly, as a matter of operational security policy, we do not offer details concerning the circumstances under which testing activities are performed. Further discussing specific measures and operational procedures could adversely affect the success of testing activities. But it seems this likely it was much ado about a little bit of fiberglass. Interesting story, though. Yes, I, guess, I guess now we know what Area 51 feels like. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and for, for us, I guess it was right there in the Tennessee Valley in Huntsville and Madison. All right. Thanks, Travis. Thanks, Travis.